everybody. This is Chris from the Gadsden County Public Library. We've got another great episode of Book Buzz to share with you. This week, uh, I chose to read the book, The Lost Girls of Paris. And um, the book is by Pam Jenna. It's a interesting story that takes place in three timelines but the essence of the book is the story of um the disappearance of women who were who were spies who were um players in world war ii helping the resistance helping um, people in france and other European countries to fight the Nazis. The British really, you know, tr we're trying to think of every possible way to fight the Nazis. And so um, they came up with this organization, um, SOE they called it, and they sent in operatives into Europe. And that's like people, it would be easier if women took the persona, they'd be less scrutinized. So the women had to have some language skills. Maybe they had other skills that they looked at. Um, so I, I'm really interested in spies. I think that was like one of the things that, you know, I kind of was interested in this book. But to be honest with you, I'm really interested in Paris. <laughs> so the, the title of the book was The Lost Girls yes. of Paris. Yes, yeah, I, I don't know like how you guys pick books, but there's some I, I pick books. I want to be something it like like you with Paris. It has to be like either a place or a person that kind of resonates with me to make me want to read the story. And it has to grip me from the first chapter. If it doesn't like interest me in the first chapter, I'm probably not gonna finish the book. Yeah, so I really thought this was going to be more about Paris, but it ended up really centering around um, these three main characters, um, the woman that was overseeing the women out in the field, um, a oh. woman who somehow got connected to this group um, further in the timeline through a suitcase. And then one of the actual women, like spies or operatives. Oh, um, well, they sound like they were really, they were really like some strong, capable women. Yeah, yeah. I kind of thought, oh, okay, yeah, it's going to be some strong, capable women. There was an amount of romance in this, which, oh. like, because I usually read nonfiction, I'm like, oh, here's some romance. Another book that we have, um, about one of the very important women during World War II who, who worked for the resistance is Virginia Hall. And it's called the book, uh, the book is called The Woman of No Importance. And it's on our, I know for sure it's on our um, ebook collection. Okay. And it's uh, Sonia per Purnell. So like, if you really wanted to read like more factual information, I think that would be the book. That's really the book to, um, to read okay. like I've always been interested in this especially like the code breaker women you know the women that broke codes mm -hmm. and intellectually circle and um there's another book that we have which it sounds like it's more of a you know historical fiction called rose code we do have a lot of great books on women spies I was just like oh there's this book and that book oh, um okay. that's cool Chris did it ever because from what I understand, she found the suitcase, found the pictures. Did it ever come back later and say who the suitcase belonged to? Yeah, the suitcase belonged to a key person in the book. You know, she was based in Britain, but she led the group. She trained the group. So it was her suitcase. So it's really interesting. You think about, okay, this is the um, leader of the secret force. And, and she's in Europe. And then how does her suitcase get to the United States and, and become abandoned um, in this bus station? So there's a lot of mystery in it, things that have to be solved. And like a good book, you know, the mysteries aren't really completely solved until the very end. So is it just a stand, is it just a standalone book? It's not, did the book 
finish up it is it's not a series or anything no it's just okay. a standalone yeah kind of book yeah okay um and you know i guess the uh, the thing with world war ii is like how all these ordinary people did amazing things you know you think about fighting the nazis defeating the nazis um women you know because really being a spy wasn't the thing to do in the 1940s no, you know, necessarily for women but it's just like how they were kind of extraordinary um you know women yeah no offense and so like i do have a love of paris I, of different I, I realize i have a love of different places like there's different places around the globe that i just but i can say i do like to read historical fiction but I don't like to, like I said, I don't like to read anything about, you know, war or anything like that. I'm more so like right. the historical fiction that has to do with like the royalty and queens and kings oh, uh -huh. of that nature. I like to read stuff like that. Yeah. So, so Miss Pris, after reading that book, do you feel like you have a better understanding of the historical context of women being used for spies during the world wars and because I know sometimes history can be kind of very cut and dry. Mm -hmm. and so did this kind of draw you in, kind of teach you a little bit about stuff that was going on and get a better understanding of stuff like that? Yeah, and also, um, you know, kind of that supreme or the extreme sacrifice of like the French at that time. Um, because it does really give a voice to they were you know occupied by the nazis and so um like what they were willing to do for their country you know what they were willing to give up i mean people at all levels the street sweeper the lady on the street you know all these different levels you know often were like trying to resist and um you know, but that was like tremendous um, courage. No, I was going to ask, uh, Miss Chris, is this book available within our library system? Yes, if you, um, anyone is interested in reading the book, we have um, we have the books available at all three libraries, um, as well as as an ebook that you can check out online. I put that up are available so. If you want to come, we'll help surely help you find it where you can read it. It seems interesting. And we hope you do. Thank you guys. And we'll see you next time. Yep, see you next time. <laughs>